Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with another uh, video here. And in this video here, um, I've got just received six Maxwell Ultra Capacitors. Uh, they're 2.7 volts, 3,000 farads each, and each one holds 3.0 watt hours. So if you put six of them in series, I'll have 16, um, um, three times six is 18, excuse me, 18 watt hours. And so uh, what this, what I'm doing is I'm about to see if I can replace the battery in my vehicle. Now I've seen, many of you have uh, sent out a video link to me showing me a uh, laser saber and a couple of, maybe in the, uh, his attempt to replace his battery uh, with some ultra capacitors. And um, I'm familiar with those videos and I'm also familiar with a few others. And, um, but in, in my case here, I'm pretty much gonna do, uh, almost, I, would, I, I would say almost the same thing. I'm gonna see where I can improve in certain areas. But anyway, uh, this is my current project. Um, again, I'm gonna put these, these ultra capacitors in my vehicle and I'm going to run my vehicle off of these. Um, and in series, uh, it'll simply just equal just over um, 16 volts. So you know, I shouldn't have a problem. And also I do have some charging circuits coming in. Uh, however, they may take a little while to get here. They're coming from China. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, put this together, put it in a box uh, and load it up in a vehicle. Uh, so these, these caps have proven themselves time and time again, uh, especially if, you know, these are the same type of ultra capacitors that I have in my ultra capacitor battery bank and um, they've been working uh, pretty well, really, really well. Uh, these, each one of these ultra capacitors as a point of safety, uh, short-circuited, once they're fully charged, uh, they, one capacitor has the ability to generate at, you know, in a short-circuit situation over 9,000 amps. So these, these capacitors hold a lot of power, not necessarily a lot of energy as far as energy storage, but a lot of power, meaning it can deliver a lot of power um, in, in a short period of time. Okay, YouTube, I'll keep you informed. Take care. Okay, YouTube, I'm back here. And in this particular uh, at, uh, you know, addition to the other video, um, you can see here that I've got you know, the uh, cells in there um, this is just a temporary type setup until I can get a, a battery case that I find acceptable. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see there that, you know, the terminals are connected, you know, to the battery, um, to my ultra capacitor posts. And, you know, it doesn't look pretty, uh, but it does work. And so I've driven it and it works, it works great. And um, I'm not really too worried about parasitic loads because it takes a long time for a clock, a car clock, and maybe some other things in the car to really drain these batteries. I mean, not batteries, but these ultra capacitors. Um, so this is it right here, and I'm about to charge it. Um, I had to discharge it so that I could, you know, kind of work on it and, and get the post right. Uh, but so far, you know, it looks all right. Uh, you know, it, you know, it doesn't look the best. It's not pretty. I've got some foam on top so that it'll protect the top of the terminals, and I've got some foam in the back so it doesn't slide backwards uh, too far. And it's, there's really you no know, little chance of it coming forward uh, because it's held in place. Uh, but anyway, this is you know replacing my 12 volt battery with uh, ultra capacitors. All right. Stay tuned, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, here is my, uh, a picture of my capacitor bank that uh, I have installed uh, for my battery. This is the positive post, that's the negative post. And, uh, you know, just looking at it, 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 you know, you can hear that the vehicle is running. And uh, it's basically at 14 volts right now. So, right now, um, it's charged up, and uh, you know I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to put that foam back on top of it, just to kind of uh, you know keep stuff from falling, you know potentially falling on top of the terminals there, uh, just as a safety measure. That's all. But uh, anyway, that's that.
that's it. And I'm going to test it out and see how it works out for me. Okay. Take care, you two.